Good morning. It's super beautiful today. The sky is clear. We're just walking to the school for our Easter Sunday um, service. We're in Pacanticum still. We're halfway through our trip. Today I have really simple like everyday kind of makeup look. I don't know if you can see you all. I can't see it all. <laughs> it's so sunny. I love it. So in this community, there aren't that many paved roads because it's quite expensive to pave roads. Currently, there's only ice roads in the winter and also the aircrafts to get in and out. So it can get quite remote. And luckily, there are boardwalks like this where you know you can walk without having to step in the mud but everyone does own rubber boots so that slowly not in the mud let's go good job guys so that uh, when you are walking the, the the pathways in the summer and spring you're not kind of drowning in the mud getting your shoes sw swallowed up I'll tell you a funny story of what something Galahad said yesterday. Michael asked Galahad if he's thankful for the roads that we have and the pavement and the concrete that we have. Galahad was kind of thinking about it and saying yes. He said, yes, I'm thankful, but I'm not thankful for this mud. <laughs> and then I was telling him we should be thankful for this mud because it teaches us to be thankful for our pavement and all of the workers right the construction workers who build the pavement we should be thankful for their hard work too just like when we eat we should be thankful for the people who cook the food but also the people who grow the food because there are farmers who grow the food and god who provides the seeds for the food because people can't just make seeds from nowhere yeah. they can't just make a, a real apple and then Get the seeds out of the apple. Well, that's how they would get the, the, the apple seeds, but apple seeds can only come from apple seeds. This is a boardwalk that leads to the school. That's the school entryway. And it goes all the way down to that horizon. But uh, the students, actually Dan told me, Dan is our friend who has been teaching here in this community for several years now. Dan told me that the students actually built this walkway when they're doing like community building. I think it's so good that they built this for the kids who walk to school. Inchok Birch Stick School. The school runs from kindergarten all the way to grade 12. So basically the child's whole school life. And this school in particular educates all the children in this community. I heard some kids were playing around with the uh, generator. the generator, yeah. Uh, but uh, things are okay. Yeah. Uh, Is there yeah. power? There's no power right. There's no power right now. Dad forgot our indoor shoes. Daisy, let's get your shoes on. Can I pick up your jacket? Uh -oh. We're bringing it in. Pick up your jacket. Don't leave it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only your boots. Hello. Hello. Good morning. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay. When I do get a key, you'll get a key. <laughs> There's Dan. Hi, Dan. Dan. This is the gym. We're gonna have our Easter service here.
Hello, happy Easter. Wow, your outfit is so pretty. So floral. Hi, Ziggy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so wonderful. Look, Jello and cupcakes. They're so cute. Oh, I want to eat them. I want to eat the kids, not the food. <laughs> I want to eat the kids, not the food. They're so cute. The cat. The lunch was amazing. Oh, yeah. With the lot. Now, if you fall and fail here, you know, you're falling into a nice big puddle of dirty water. You understand? Now, show us what you got. This is really slippery plank. Faster, faster, oh, water went in my shoes. Congratulations. I went too fast. Congratulations. <laughs> it's hard carrying somebody. Got wow, it. congratulations. Yeah. 